actually, now that I know that this is a Ion Storm, that's probably a, a blue event option for us. We can probably go there and maybe get a, some equipment or maybe another crew member would be really nice. So we're going to wait and we're going to jump. We'll decide if we want to go to the store afterwards. Oh boy, another auto scout. Luckily for us, this one can't actually damage us. And they're not trying to escape. So we're just going to auto fire on like their shields. In about 30 seconds, the chain laser is going to be firing every seven seconds. And we should be able to kill them pretty easily. At least I don't have to like ma manage crew on this encounter. What do we need? What do we need? We have 19 scrap. We'll probably get about 30 total, not from this this ship, but we'll get about 30 scrap after this encounter. We'll have 30 scrap, I should say. Should we get more mind control or should we just focus on getting the hull missile online? Maybe the hacking system? But if we're killing a lot of crew, the hacking system is not all that important. So I might just want to maybe focus on getting the uh, hull missile online. That way we can actually destroy ships if we need to. These auto scout ships are pain in the ass and I can't hurt them without, I can't use mind control. And if I go too heavily on mind control, we'll be, we'll be left in the dust. No reason to go to the store. So we're gonna go to one more beacon, then exit, then quest, then beacon, then nebula, then exit. We will probably have to fight the rebels, but honestly, I think I'm okay with that. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One jump. Two, two jump. Three jump. Four jump. Yeah, we can go to all all these beacons if we ignore the store. Okay. Going through the rebels might be a little bit troublesome, but there's not going to be an ASB at the exit beacon because it's in a nebula. This ship. I mean, it's it's another auto scout, so it's annoying. But I don't think they can hurt me. Their combat drone is irksome, so I might want to fire on their weapon system first, because as a result, their drone will not be able to hurt me. I don't think. Yeah. So take their weapon offline. The drone will still give us some training. Steven, I might as well just leave you on weapons for now. We actually just destroyed their uh, their drone. Interestingly, both shots landed on the drone. That's kind of weird. That's okay. We did reach maximum dodge chance on the pilot and the engine personnel, which is very nice to know. Chain laser is powered up now, so we can fire very quickly. Shields are down. Next we go piloting, then weapons, because they're probably going to get repaired in a minute. There we go. Then engines, and then shields, and piloting again. And this ship will be dead very quickly. I guess shields, and then engines, and then piloting. I guess it doesn't matter where we shoot next, but whatever. Okay, didn't take any hull damage. Gonna get some scrap. 13 and 3 fuel. Not bad. I could also get a better hacking upgrade. But uh, I think... I think we just want to save like another 14, 16 scrap, something like that, in order to get the hull missile online. Having four weapon power is pretty cheap and pretty important to do, to uh, to get. So I'd like to do that if we can. And I think we we actually can't go to all the beacons because it's a quest. So we're gonna go to the quest beacon, get a reward, go probably to the ion storm, and then leave. Which is fine. It's fine. I do want to go to the Ion Storm just because I think it's going to be a blue event option for us. Four hull points repaired and a store is actually terrible. I can't buy anything. I don't want to buy anything. I mean, I want to buy a, a Vulcan, but I can't buy a Vulcan. It's way too expensive. Could buy a firebomb, actually. For one missile, we can kill crew very easily and reliably. How? Mind control the med bay, or uh, bomb the med bay, or the clone bay. Mind control the crew members in there trying to put out the fire. The fire will spread, the crew members will die, and they will be scared to put out the fires once they all perish. Um, 
Yeah. I... <laughs> yeah. Okay. Here's my thinking. That would work really well for everything except Rockmen. But that's fine because we still have the mind control to fall back on. And except for Rebel Auto Scout ships. So what I'm thinking is we upgrade hacking next and then we can take down Auto, auto Scout ship shields when we need to. And then we can just kind of rely on the, uh, on the firebomb mind control to finish the job. Sell the hull missile, buy a firebomb. 26 scrap, upgrade the weapon system as soon as we can. Okay, okay, this is interesting. Is it good? I don't know. Could be. It's interesting to say the least. Okay, blue event option, please. Yes! Hull smasher laser. I feel so much better about selling that hull missile because the big problem was if we don't have enough weapons, we can't do damage to ships. Now we at least have another gun we can use. So I feel much, much, much better about that. What are we going to upgrade? Honestly, engines so that I might be able to escape out of this next jump a little bit faster. I could go to one more beacon and then backtrack through two beacons. And I think I'm going to do that. Because I think I can hack the enemy weapon systems to keep them from shooting missiles at me and this escape. It's, this is going to be strange. This is going to be strange, don't get me wrong, but I think we can make it work. Are we going to hack them? No. We're going to let the Mantis board me. They, they can't do anything with the one iron weapon, so I can actually depower that. We're going to let the Mantis board me. Send you into the door room. Vent the oxygen throughout the ship, or we'll do it in a second. Shield room, never mind, we're just going to attack him. Let the Mantis board me, kind of kill him a little bit. I want you to go in first, you go in second. And if we can kill him, good. If we can't, firebomb the medbay, mind control him. Uh, that's a really unfortunate stun, but that's okay. So firebomb. Mantis is dead. We mind control the Mantis. Once the NG walks into the room. Good, they're gonna fight each other. Let's get the O2 powered back and everyone go back to your rooms. The, the uh, med bay will be destroyed. The NG will die. The Mantis will... Unfortunately, they're not fighting each other, but that's okay, because they're, they're dead. They're dead, they can't heal. So we actually switch back to the uh, hull laser. Better than the chain laser, just because it uh, I mean, actually, I guess the chain laser is better, because it... Actually, I guess they're probably equal, but this one can start a fire, so why not? Mantis has no HP. He will die. The fire will spread to him. Might as well... Might as well just shoot him. There's a fire in the engine room, and there he died. Okay, so we get 3 fuel, 19 scrap. We're going to upgrade the hacking system. And we're going to try to sneak our way through Rebels at these next couple of beacons. This is going to be very dangerous, but if it works, then I feel good about going to that one extra beacon because it was just, you know, good for us. A double shot laser? You can't hurt me. So I'm just going to kill you. I could kill him. I, if I attack him, the problem is, is that they're going to either get their shields online or get their weapons online. What I could do is mind control them, but then I can't escape. And my oxygen is going to deplete because I don't have power. So I think I'm just going to get the engines online just a little bit. Let them send crew over. You know, lock them out through the doors and just leave. Yeah, this is going to be easy. Get out. By the time he walks into the door room, I can leave and then he'll be dead. I'm not going to worry about killing them. I don't need to worry about dodge chance or anything either. So get out of the room, open it up. It doesn't matter if he dies because they have a clone bay, but this is not about killing the crew. This is not about killing the ship. 
All we get is one fuel out of it. This is just about surviving long enough that we can get the hell out of here. You might as well stand in the door room, or uh, shield room, just to get some training. No reason not to, if you're not doing anything. So this is the same thing. So you walk into the door room, you walk into the hacking room, we vent, we wait. I mean, I could kill their crew, but it's it's not worth it. Just wait, they'll leave, we can escape. You get into the shield room. How? I did not open the door. How did he break out of the room? That seems weird. Whatever, just kill him. He's dead. Get back into the shield room. We're gonna jump. There is no ion storm at this exit beacon. There's never an ion storm at the exit beacon. So we will have full power, but the enemy will have full power as well. That's what the hack's here for. It's gonna help us not get hit by this missile. So. I'm not even gonna fire my weapons. There's no real reason to. We're gonna hack their weapon system. Maybe even mind control the weapon personnel. He can t maybe take it partially offline. Destroy it by one bar, maybe two bars, because they're not sending in people to uh, to hurt him. This is a ship where I might actually be able to kill the crew, but I'm, I'm not really going to focus on that at all. Hack the missile. Really just depends on whether or not we can uh, destroy the missile launcher, and we cannot. So we will try to escape here. I think we can make it out before the missile lands on our system. It's going to be close, though. We'll make it out. No reason to stay. <laughs> okay, and should we go to another Uncharted Nebula? Yes. Ooh, 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 actually. Uncharted Nebula could give us smugglers, pirate controlled, is gonna give us a lot of combat and the potentiality for getting crew members as a result of those pirate beacons. This is uh, the slavers. Ooh. Also, uh, civilian ships. You know what? Let's go to pirate controlled. Maybe this is technically wrong, but I'm thinking that maybe pirate is better than than the uncharted nebula. Uncharted nebula is up there. It's definitely better than civilian when you can kill crew. Oh god, damn it! This is the worst because this is not what I wanted at all. Kind of have to. I feel like I have to hack them in the weapon system just to uh, give us a chance at taking out their missile launcher as, as quickly as possible. We can hack for like 10 seconds. That's not maybe long enough, but it, it better be. Yeah, keep those weapons offline. Keep that missile launcher offline. I can kill them. It's really just a matter of how much damage will be taken this process. They also will cloak again, unfortunately. Yeah, so we missed one shot. They will cloak again, but we're just kind of waiting for the chain laser to get charged up. Well, we do have a 35% dodge chance. We we might dodge the missile. We're not going to dodge the missile. I don't care that the uh, mind control system's offline. It does not bother me. I can hack him again. Might as well do it as soon as possible so that we get as, as quick of a recharge on it. Chain laser is almost ready to auto fire in the uh, fastest amount of time possible, seven seconds. We have a good weapons personnel, not not great, but not the worst. Yeah, they're gonna get another missile off. It's only a matter of time now. Empty room. I don't hear a crack a lack of a fire. Okay, one more shot will take out this missile launcher. We can sneak in another shot. We hacked it. Okay, they're gonna get another missile out. So this is, this is looking like it's nine points of damage to kill one ship. That's not good. That's not good at all. But this is this is the worst class of ship that we should we're fighting. This is this is not good. There's a fire in the auction. We're gonna have to vent. You know, against any other ship, I could just launch in a firebomb, start a fire, lock the doors with the hack, and then their weapons will go out super freaking quickly. These auto scout ships are going to destroy me unless until I can actually get in some. Uh, some decent shots. So I think what this is telling me, and I think I've I've thought I learned this lesson before, but what this is telling me is I need I need weapons. I need to get the chain laser and hull laser online at the same time. That's like that's gonna be my number one priority right now. I have it paused.
The next shot will kill them. Bad damage, but it's okay. Oh, I need to get that oxygen repaired. Okay. Send in two crew members to do it. Jackson Weston. Open all the doors, and the oxygen flows into the room. They're not taking any, any uh, damage. We do get 19 scrap. That's not nearly... You know, that is enough to, to uh, compensate for the damage we took, because that's only, you know, nine... It's, it's only enough to compensate if on Sector 3. I think on Sector 4, repairs cost 3, but repairs cost 2 here, and that is still within the margin of, uh, of profit. 2 times 9, 18. We picked up 19. Lead them to their de destination. We get 14 scrap and a quest beacon. If it's Sector Scans, I'll be annoyed. I'm going to promise to help. Fire on it, and we take some damage. Well, this actually super sucks because it's breached as well. Oh, no, it's breached in the other room. That's fine. Yeah, that sucked. Get that breach repaired ASAP. That really sucked. Should leave them in the O2 room to get it repaired. My bad. Uh, sometimes you can make a good thing happen there. I risked it. I was thinking maybe we can use the hacking parts to hack the system to keep it offline. But no, the, the game said that that was not a valid option, which is fine. Maybe I should have realized that ahead of time. I've done that event, you know, enough that I was like, I don't think I have anything that works here. Hey, and we explored the asteroid field, and we have the O2 system offline again. It's okay. Vent the engines, put out the fire. So we've, we've taken 19 points of damage in three beacons. That's... Freaking terrible. You don't need me to tell you, that is awful. But hey, there is a store up ahead. I could swing over, get some repairing done. I kind of feel like we're okay as long as we get into combat with not automated scouts. Please. Maybe there'll be another store in our future. Ah, okay, nothing. This sector is a fucking waste so far. Wow. Um,. Go up and around through the nebula, down through the quests, maybe? I don't know. Ugh. This sector is garbage. Let me tell you. Well, free scrap is okay, and it's okay enough that I can get the, uh... That I can get the weapons upgraded, so I'm not too pissed about it. I'm going to go up through the nebula down to the quest beacon and then kind of backtrack, I think. Yeah. So we're going we're to go down and then up. Attack the slavers. Hey, this is our opportunity to potentially get another crew member. We could deal uh, hull damage to, to them and they would offer us a surrender offer, but I think they'll try to escape before that, so... It might just be better that I try to kill their crew. And I can kill their crew. Oh! Right. Pilot first, then engines, then shields, then weapons. They're not going to send a crew member in there because it's not wo uh, wounded. It's not, you know, in the yellow. Now it is, and they're going to send someone in there. But that was dumb of me. I should have mind controlled the pilot. It's okay. Chain laser? Uh, might as well auto fire. Get the training on Steven up to max, and then I can move him into shields. On this encounter, for instance, it doesn't matter. We we can't really die, can we? Okay. Mind control the pilot this time. Zoltan is dead. Mantis is going to die here. And then we can just kill the, uh, the human through chain laser plus hull laser. Yeah, one, he has one HP, so one shot on him will kill him. So let's get the whole laser online. Steven, keep auto-firing. And if we're lucky, if we're lucky we can get a free crew member out of this. We might not, because sometimes it's like, all the, all the people on the ship have died in the fighting. Ah, but we do get a 
NG crew member. You find the burnt bodies in the hold, but before you strip the ship, you hear faint noises in the walls. You break off a latch and a slave falls out of a hidden, hidden compartment coughing. I mean, he's an NG. I don't think NGs cough, but maybe they mimic it as like a response to dust in the air. I don't know. At least we get another, another crew member. A shield personnel is nice. This does make us vulnerable to mind control, but it's not that bad. Let's get some more reactor power. We can afford it now. We have weapons that we can use to defend ourselves. Now we just need to get power for everything. Attempt to follow and help. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> okay, this sucks. Here's what we're gonna do. We are going to depower the shields, power up the hack, hack their weapons, two flak cannons scare the shit out of me. What we're gonna do is we're gonna try to fire, start a fire in the room as quickly as we can and mind control them and hack them at the same time. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a little tricky. We're gonna try to make it work. We're gonna hack them right, right before they fire the flax, right now. That one laser can't do anything to us. We're gonna hit hull laser, chain laser at the same moment. Okay, they only have one flak online. We're gonna mind control the crew member in here. Maybe he can take out the last bar of flak power so that they only have the, the uh, heavy laser. I think we can. Hopefully they don't bust down the door. And we're just going to get as much power into the shields as we can, honestly. Yeah, here comes the flak. Send in the chain laser, put the power into the dodge chance. Wait for the lasers to land, maybe maybe this will be good. Good, okay, flak's offline. And we and we did dodge exactly the number of shots that we needed to. Okay, this is this is this is okay. This is okay. Now, now they do have this med bay, but we can actually deal with that with a a single firebomb, I think. I did breach the med bay. There is a a hole, but it's not offline. Yeah, I think I think now we get the med bay powered up. They're gonna get stuff repaired, but it's gonna take them a while. We mind control and firebomb the med bay. The fire is gonna spread throughout the ship. Then we can switch over back over to like the uh, chain laser. And in fact, I can kind of get that powering up right now. We have a hack. We can use it when the flak gun goes back online. Okay. Okay. Firebomb the medbay. We missed. Fuck. I guess... I guess we could just, like, mind control him. They will send their crew in there to, to fight. I want them in there because I want them to kill the unit that's mind controlled. Gotcha. Good. Now we wait. They're going to get stuff repaired. Chain laser could send in one shot, but it's probably not worth it. They're just going to walk into the med bay, to, med bay to heal. I basically have to wait for the, uh, the firebomb again. The real question is, can I constantly uh, mind control them to stop them from repairing the weapons? I might be able to, actually. Okay, good. Fire is in the med bay. Mind control the crew in the med bay. Yes, okay. This is what I wanted. This is what I was waiting for. Now I think we will not take any more damage and we can kill the crew just by letting the fire spread throughout the ship. Mind controlled crew member is going to die. Crew member in the med bay is putting out the fire, but he's not going to be able to succeed because, hey, it's a fire. He left, went back into the weapons room. One chain laser. Not enough to kill him, but one more weapon will. Okay. This is good. This is good. Taking a little bit of time, but it's okay. I don't really mind. He's dead. 21 scrap. He walked through the room with the fire. What an idiot. Let's get more uh, reactor power just in case there is a ion storm. We are not completely screwed. Hey. Hey, but we have piloting and we picked up a burst laser mark one. This is actually wonderful. We have 
eight weapon power. We have six laser shots. Not the best weapons, you know, a Burst Laser Mark II is better. Chain Laser I still would rather get rid of at some point in the future, but this is good. This is good for now. Go to the exit, go to the nebula, jump out of the nebula, go to the quest. Nothing here. That's okay. Let's jump out of the nebula because I think that gives us the most time to decide what we're going to do. So I'll be here, then one jump, then two jump. You know what? No, let's go to the nebula. I think we can make it. It's going to be tight for time, but I think we can make it. I should not have come here. I should not have come here. Just let them fight each other. Everyone go into the weapons room. We'll wait for them. Oh! I hate this encounter. At least the one with the, uh, with the Ion Storm gives you scrap. It's like, hey, you're gonna be boarded, but here's some scrap to make up for it. This one, it's like, eh, here, have some invaders, deal with it, you don't get anything. We will never surrender crew to slavers, absolutely not. They have a missile. That's something we're gonna have to deal with. That is something that we can deal with just by hacking the weapon system. We can firebomb the weapons and then the med bay, because it's on the other side of the weapons room, they can't get in there to heal because they're gonna be stuck in the room with all the fire. This will be just fine. Um, there's not really a reason to have weapons just because I, they have two bars of shields, it's okay. Send the weapons personnel in there. Jax, you're slightly wounded, but Steven, you're wounded as well, so it doesn't matter who goes in there first. We hack them before they fire the missile. Buys us some time to get in there with the firebomb. We missed. That's not what I wanted. That should be obvious. Jax is wounded. If he gets hit by the missile, he might die. Yeah, that's obviously not what I wanted because we're going to have to wait for the firebomb again. They're going to get a missile off and it is going to land in the piloting room and it did kill the crew member. So if we get hit in the uh, clone bay, our pilot Jax is going to die and there's nothing really we can do to stop that. That sucks. That sucks so hard. Don't, don't stun the clone bay. If you have a heart AI, don't stun the clone bay, please. It's close. It's close, but they did not stun the clone bay. I have to give them props for that. Missiles coming in. Don't hit the clone bay. Don't hit the clone bay. I want them to get into the room with the fire and then mind control them. Okay, shields. I don't mind shields being offline temporarily. Okay, okay. Tricky, 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 tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Their weapons are gonna go out. We don't have to worry about it anymore. Even if we get hit by the bomb, it's not gonna do hull damage. As long as the shields stay online. So you know what, get in there. Get that shields repaired. What is this, doors? I don't care. Mind controlled crew member is not dead. He will die as soon as he walks through the room with the fire. Okay, we picked up a rock man. He's good at weapons. Um, You're just gonna go on doors, I guess. 43 hull integrity is not very good. Would like to go to a store, but I don't think we're going to be able to. I don't think we can even go to the quest beacon. As much as I would like to, we can't. I don't think we're going to be able to get out. I should not have gone to that uh, nebula. That nebula was garbage. Ah, da, 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 da. I honestly don't think we uh, upgrade ourselves either. I think we just get out. Go to one more beacon, then go to the exit. It's at a nebula, so there will not be... Oh, I should have upgraded. There will not be a... Um, what do I want to say? It's at a nebula, so there's not going to be an ASB. Their ship's taking damage. They could damage me, but I don't think they're gonna, going to. Our weapons will go out pretty quickly before their chain laser does. I don't know how the ship survived in the asteroid field before we arrived, but they didn't survive for very long, did they? Okay, 20 scrap. 
We've got 63. If we can survive this sector, I'll be happy. Can't go to one more beacon because then we'd have to backtrack through an ASB rebel, rebel uh, jump. We should be fine, though. Again, we can hack them in the weapons. We should hack them in the weapons. And then we basically don't need to worry. We're just going to wait. They might fire the um, the flak after the hack, but I'm I'm okay with that. Hopefully the hull lasers do land true. Take something offline. Good, we did one damage. We can mind control him. Keep him from repairing it. Maybe wait and ah, just mind control him now. Keep him busy. Stop them from getting stuff repaired. We're probably going to get hit by the, the shots because they still have one basic laser and the flak up at the same time. Oh, we were good! And then we were not good because of the bomb that went off. That's so bad. We have no dodge chance. We're not charging uh, FTL. Their flak is still online. Dodge chance is back. Slightly. 25%, not good enough. Dodged one shot. Ooh, it's gonna hurt. Oh, we dodged it. So good. I don't want that bomb to hit again. Let's just get the hell out of here. We can jump. Get the O2 online. Oh my god, go to the, um... Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Rock-controlled sectors. Lots of cloaking, lots of missiles. Rock are immune to firebomb. Abandoned sector. Lanius. Usually lots of missiles and cloaking and mind control and hacking. Better than the rock-controlled sector, though. There's a nebula ahead of it. Maybe we can go to a uncharted nebula and get some... some smugglers or something. But this is bad. This is bad. It's actually bad enough that I'm going to go to the store first. Yeah. Hull repair, maybe sell one of the weapons, maybe the chain laser. I don't like it. They don't really have anything to buy either. The heavy laser is actually pretty good. It's actually pretty good. Better than the chain laser, but I think I'm just going to sell it. I think we're gonna buy the defense drone. It means we have two things using drone parts, but it's... I think we need missile defense, especially for the sector. We can mind control Lanius if they board us. What we can't do is not take missile damage, especially if we are trying to kill crew. We're, we're not gonna be able to kill crew in this sector just because the Lanius are very resistant to that. They have no oxygen, we can't firebomb them. But we can mind control them. If, if we use one drone part, then we can just mind control them, let them kill each other, destroy their systems, do this the old-fashioned way. We cannot afford cloaking, we would have to sell every weapon we have. That's n unacceptable. Actually, we'd have to sell, yeah, every weapon we have, all three of them. If we sell the hull laser and the burst laser, we would be down to 149 scrap. Actually, not even that. 100 and... Yeah, 149 scrap? No, 100... 2150, it'll be 145. 147 scrap. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah, I think we get the defense drone. It sucks that we're going to be using a lot of drone parts, but we need missile defense. This is how we're going to afford missile defense right now. We, we heal for three, and then we jump. And we hope we can make this work. We hope. Uh, we will attack the Manta ship. The Manta ship in the system looks like its distress beacon is malfunctioning, likely due to, to the Lania ship mining their hull and subsystems. It doesn't look like the Manta ship will last much longer. Attack the Lanius, not attack the Mantis. I misread that. Let's attack the Lanius. They can hurt us. Their weapons are not that bad. I don't think there's a reason to use the defense drone. This is an Ion Mark II, so it's going to take a wild of fire. I don't don't think we need to don't think we need to shoot him. Yeah, the laser's gonna fire first. 
We missed all of our shots, which sucks. So you know what? We should definitely have mind control the pilot beforehand. Depower the shields, let the ion come in. Even if it hits weapons, it, we dodged it anyways, but this that was still good. Okay, we're going to mind control the pilot. I should have done that before. Okay, so now they have no weapons. The pilot being mind controlled... I wish they would attack each other. Again, I want to kill crew whenever possible, but now he is going to attack each other. Am I going to help? No, let's let them bash on each other for a bit. We will have to at some point attack them, but why not let them hurt each other some more? They're getting stuff repaired. That's okay. Mind control will come back online. The progress on repairing was not wasted when the uh, other Lanius went in there to attack, but we can still knock their systems down, knock their weapons offline with one shot if we need to. There's a fire in the room, that's why they're not getting in there to repair it. Yeah. So you know what, maybe it was not the correct course of action to mind control them first while the shots went in, but maybe it was, I don't know. Who's to say what was the right action, you know? Twenty-nine HP, two shots will kill him. I'm curious if the total HP is re retained when the mind control wears off, but I'm not sure. Regardless, he will die. We get 34 scrap and two missiles. They give us two missiles and 24 scrap. So we have a lot of missiles. This is re really good for kind of next sector, not really good for now. With 59 scrap, honestly, I think we save. No. We get the clone bay upgrade just so that we don't accidentally lose it. Maybe even get one more clone bay upgrade and then we save for shields. Okay, rebel ship, they boarded us. These are not your standard boarders. These are just guys that are going to die. So I think we mind control them, let them fight each other. Ugh, they have a defense drone mark two, which is super annoying. Okay, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? If we firebomb mind control, that will kill one of their crew members and take their weapons offline. On the other hand, I could just fire in shots and the hacking drone at the same time. Let's save the hacking drone. Let's get the firebomb going. We don't need the burst laser. We can't sneak in a shot past the defense drone mark two. It's going to be extremely difficult. The firebomb though can sneak in. They're attacking the hacking system. Let's stop that. He's going into the clone bay. You know what? Stay in the clone bay. I'm just going to vent you. Rockman, get out of the room. Keep venting. Flak is coming in. Nothing I can do about it. If it takes out weapons, it's not that bad because we only need the firebomb online. We have ex extra system power, basically. Okay, hit an empty room. That's okay. Firebomb's ready to go. We're going to take out their weapons first and then their medbay afterwards. Hopefully it lands. It did land. He's putting out the fire. We mind control him, stop him from putting out the fire. There's a repair drone. We stop the repair drone from putting out the fire. Good, their flat gun's offline, repair drone's destroyed. Their crew is trying to make it into the engine room. They're not their crew, but these jerks. Mind controlled crew member is dead. They're putting out the fire. Okay, close all doors, open all doors, everyone go back to your rooms. It's a system repair drone, it's actually gonna be super annoying. I think we firebomb their drone room. If we can take that drone offline, then I can hack them. And I don't want to abuse the game's mechanics by sh shutting off the power to the system. I want to do this kind of legit. So we're just going to wait. Mind control. We mind control their crew. Defense drones offline. So now, now I think we hack their med bay and this will, we will be able to kill them with this hack. And we might as well, in that case, get the uh, 
I'll laser burst laser on mine. Why can we kill them with this? Mind control's already happened, that's fine. Why do we kill them with this uh, hack? Because we can wound them, they're gonna go into the med bay, we hack it, and they, they will die. That's just how the hacking on the med bay works. You kill their crew. So we wait, we can see their crew, they're getting stuff repaired, firebomb is still doing good work. Their flat gun's back online, we need to take that out. So, we'll send in some shots. Maybe try to end with the fire. Good, weapons offline. Into the med bay you go. I do not think so. He's dead. Now they're getting the shields repaired, and all we have to do really is just wait for the fire. This guy will die. If he gets wounded, he's gonna try to go into the med bay, but the door is closed, so he can't get in there. And then as soon as, as soon as the uh, cooldown is done, I can open the doors, let him in, kill him through the, uh, through the hack. I could even mind control him, but I don't think that's necessary. Yeah, he's gonna try to put out the fires. Honestly, we let him go into the med bay at this point, because he's gonna go in there with like 20 HP. Come on, stop waving your arms. Oh, you're so wounded. What are you gonna do? Ah, there you go. Walk into the med bay. He's got like 27 HP. Now nah, he's dead. And we get two missiles, one drone part, and like 20 scrap out of it. That's not bad. That pays for itself, essentially, for that encounter. We got hit for one point of damage. That's not, that's not bad. <sighs> and I think at this point we do save for the next bar of shields. I think that's going to be super important. We're taking a lot of damage. The defense drone is going to be super useful, but I think we still need to uh, save. Inquire about the process. A merchant ship is docked with Alanius Transport. You message them to see if they need any help. Turns out that they have been studying Alanius' ability to reshape metal. We can give them scrap for an augment. I'm going to do this. We might be able to get something really good. We get a life form scanner. This is fucking terrible. All this does is what the slugs already do. So that was a complete waste of scrap, but no, there is no but. That was j just absolutely a waste of scrap. That's okay. We can sell it. Safely harvest, 27 scrap for free, 38 scrap. Nope, save for shields. Sh shave for sealed. 40 scrap for free, shave for sealed. Shave for seals. I like that. Shave for seals. Two missile launchers, okay. It's gonna be like that, huh? Uh, do we use a drone part or do we use a defense drone? Like, do we hack them or do we just use a defense drone? Well, we definitely use the firebomb. I don't know if we use a drone part. Let's see if they fire the weapons at the same time. That red is looking very even. I think we just hack them. The defense drone will only be able to shoot down one missile. Hacking them means that the uh, firebomb will be able to land and uh, take out their weapons very quickly. So let's do that. You can walk into the mind control room, I don't care. This is fine. Yeah, these missiles are firing, firing at the same time, so we can't just use one defense drone to stop them. So hack them. Firebomb just has to go in. Okay, we did start a fire. We mind control them as soon as they walk into the room. We stop them from putting out the fire. These crew aboard our ship are going to be very dead very shortly. Missiles are coming in, that's expected. We knew that was gonna happen. We're gonna take some damage. I could use another drone part. I'm not going to, I'm just gonna take the missiles. Okay, that crew member is dead. We did dodge one missile. We got hit in the weapons once. That's not bad. Okay, their crew member is in the weapons room. We lock him in. Well, we didn't lock him in, but... Fire is still spreading. We dodged one missile. We have a fire. We can put that out with the rock man. Uh, you know what? Just open the doors. Vent the room. It'll be easier. Our firebomb does not need to be powered up. We could power up the burst laser or the hull laser. The fire's spreading throughout their ship. They have no HP. They're fighting each other. 
Come on. Ah, we took one point of damage. I thought we could put out the fire fast enough. I guess I should have had the Rockman in there, but I wanted to save his own HP. If at all possible. Okay, so we took like three points of damage. That's not terrible. That's not terrible. Their crew is screwed. Their crew is so screwed. Uh, might as well keep the hack going. The fire did get out, which sucks. Because as a result, we might not be able to kill the crew without having to use the uh, the lasers. That's okay, though. It's okay. Why don't we let you in? You have 1 HP. You have 28. I wanted to hit the shield room so that the pilot would go down there and get killed himself. Shield personnel has 3 HP, and they were getting the shields repaired, so this is an easy kill. We get Big B, who's going to be... He's not going to be a pilot. He's just going to be another crew member. We don't have a sensors room. So I guess just hang out in the piloting room for the time being. We really need to heal. That much is obvious at this point. There's no real place to heal, though. I do want to save seven more scrap for the shield upgrade. Slavers attack the slavers. Three lasers would hurt us if they fired off them all at the same time, but I think we might be fine. They do have a Lanius, a Rockman, and a Slug. They have a weapon system. You know what? The placement of that weapon system tells me we hack it, because that will stop them from moving throughout their ship. We can kill them just through mind control and fire, basically. In fact, I can mind control them right now, I think. The Rockman will go into the piloting room to stop the uh, Lanius. He'll take a lot of damage, and then we can hit him with the firebomb when he walks into the weapons room. Okay, they boarded us with one slug. That's fine. I'm gonna have the human be the brunt of the or bear the brunt of the attack because the uh, slug Jax, since he's our pilot, he needs to stay in the room. And if he gets hit by a missile or something and dies, I would not be happy. So we're gonna hack their weapons just to keep us a little bit safer. Rockman is going to be wounded. Slug is wounded. Lanius just might be able to kill them both at the same time. Rockman broke down the door, but we send in the firebomb. Kill the Rockman, which is what we want, because uh, Lanius by himself will not be able to survive. He might put out the fire, but hopefully the fire kills him instead. Good. We get another crew member, Marcus. This is wonderful because we are getting a lot of good crew members. Well, good good in the extent that... Oh, go back to your rooms. Good in the extent that, you know, we we can be good against boarding. We can get a mind... Not a mind control, excuse me, a teleporter if we need to. No store. So we upgrade ourselves. Get that next bar of shields available anyways. You know, on this encounter, I didn't necessarily need to hack them if... I had the next bar of shields, but I still probably would have hacked them anyways, just because of the placement of the med bay. It was so good. You know, I'm going to send you down to the weapons room just to keep that... Keep that manned, just in case something goes wrong with the slug in there. You know, if we get hit, you can put out a fire. Uh, ask if they require assistance. They're going to attack us. Double shot laser plus a bomb. We do not need... We do not need... The... Shields powered up to level 3. I will mind control them immediately, though. No. I will mind control when I fire my weapons. And we will fire on their weapon system, just in case we can destroy the bomb before it fires. That would be very handy. Ah, we did! They messed with- they fiddled with their power, but I wanted their laser online, not the bomb. They're not attacking each other, which is very unfortunate. Kind of wish they would. I could if, I could make them attack each other if I hit them in the piloting room. There we go. So now they're going to attack each other, not do any repairing. Wait for my weapons to power up a little bit more. There we go. Good stuff. Maybe hit them in the shield room once, or maybe keep hitting them in the weapons. Let's... Hit him in shields. I mean, we, we need to take out the clone bay at some point too. Let's just let's just wait. 
We want to kill crew. They can't damage the hull as long as I keep an eye on where the bomb's landing and I put out fires and repair systems. We should be fine. Worst case scenario, I hack their clone beta just to disable it while one of their crew members is dead. We can handle that. Maybe I should have fired one shot at their uh, weapon system. But this is fine. Let the bomb go off. Where is it going off? Empty room. Not a firebomb. So I don't care. Mind control the pilot. They send a crew member in there to help with the combat. Good stuff. Hopefully they kill each other or kill one of themselves and then I can attack them in the clone bay. Take it offline. That bomb missed. That is wonderful. Let's actually get the power into the engine so we can get some more dodging going on here. And you know what? Bigby. No, you know what? I don't want the bombs to land, so I'm not going to send my slug out of the room to let Bigby get trained up. I'm just going to leave it as is. Same thing with Steven. Aki on shields. It's fine. Might actually be good to have someone else on shields other than the uh, NG so that the NG can do repairing, but this is this is fine. This is fine. Ah, the clone bay is not destroyed. Well, I guess we're going to have to use one hacking part. Second level hack, one first level hack, doesn't matter. Where'd that bomb go? Where'd that bomb go? Oh, it's over there. I didn't see it. Yeah, he, that, he, that guy's dead. Trying to surrender, no thank you. This guy, how much HP does he have? Three! Okay, he's gonna be dead very, very easily. Bomb. Don't go off on weapons. Engines. Slug, get out of there. Slug got hit. That's okay. Everyone else, get in there and get that stuff repaired. Why not? Ooh, I almost forgot. We get a Mantis. Okay, I will say, the past couple of sectors have been kind of bad in terms of our hull integrity. But we have really picked up in terms of number of crew. We have so many goddamn crew members now, and I love it. You might as well stay in the door room. You guys, Rockman and Mantis, you're going to be my invaders should I ever get a teleporter. Probably won't get a teleporter, all things considered, but maybe I will. 